Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing just like kind of an easy every day if you were like going to work or just heading out kind of makeup look. Um, we're kind of condensing some of the products and some of the steps a little bit. We're not doing like a full on Instagram beat because in reality most people don't need to do that every day if you want to absolutely feel free, but it's not necessary and I feel like it's relevant to make videos as well that are just easier for the average person to do versus seeing, you know, a video where there's like cream contour and hearts drawn all over your face and stuff and having that be taken literally and then, you know, you can't figure out why you're not able to achieve the same kind of look when you don't see the, I'm sure, like 15 minutes of blending and altering and fixing off camera. So I wanted to just film something like super nice and easy. We're just going to kind of chat our way through it. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to prime. I've got my Smashbox Mindful 5 just because it's like a nice lightweight hydrating primer. I like the skincare benefits. I, of course, have already done my skincare. I'm wearing my sunscreen because it is, it was a little sunny earlier. It was very sunny yesterday, which was beautiful. Although we're supposed to get rain for the next couple days, so I'll probably be inside, but I just like the feeling of my sunscreen on my skin anyway, so there we go. We are primed. Now I am going to color correct. For me, that's like, oh, <laughs> whoops. For me, that's like a non-negotiable. Um, I just, I don't like seeing my under eyes like through my concealer, so this is something that might be negotiable for some, but it is not for me. So I'm going to just take my little Kaja sponge here and tap that in. Now I'm just using like a soft peachy color. You don't need to use orange, you don't need to use red if you are my skin tone or if you're around this area. That is too strong because you don't want to be trying to cover up your color corrector. You don't want to see orange, you don't want to see red, and then have to put concealer on top of that because it's likely that it's actually going to change the color of your concealer and then it's not going to work. So if I'm looking straight ahead right now, my under eyes look almost like a more neutral skin tone. They don't look like a peach or an orange. Now because I'm going to do powder foundation today, just because for me I find that that's like the quickest and easiest, I'm doing my concealer first. So again, we're going to go inner corner, outer corner, inner corner, outer corner, I'm going to put a little on my chin and around my nose here, on my nose, mm. oh, and around my mouth a little bit too, because I have like a little bit of pigmentation there. So we're going to start here. If I feel like I need to add more, I will, but if I do not, I will not, because when you're doing powder foundation, you cannot put concealer over top. That just will not vibe. It'll cake and it'll bunch and it'll lift. So you want to do all your major concealing beforehand. So that way you don't have anything left peeking through after that. You're like, oh man, like I wish I could, you know, cover up that zit a little bit better. And then it's just a lot more work for you. And I'm also using a sponge just because I can multitask it for a couple different things. If I were doing liquid foundation, I would also be using it to apply my liquid foundation. You know, I could use it to apply my cream blush and all that fun stuff, so it would save a little bit of time. So we're just going to bounce, bounce, bounce. And I am going to take whatever's left over my lid. We're going to put like a little bit of color on the eyes, nothing crazy. If you are somebody who creases a lot and you need an eye primer, absolutely feel free to use an eye primer. I typically, if I use concealer, I won't crease. So I don't necessarily find that I need one, but on days that I'm like actually sitting down to do my makeup, I will use one. So I just added a teeny bit more under my eyes and then I've got a couple spots on my chin here and a little bit up by my brow that I wanted to make sure got covered as well. So we're gonna bounce that into. Now this is also something that you could do, say if you want to just do tinted moisturizer, if you don't want that much coverage. I'm doing powder foundation to get a more medium to cover, full coverage finish, but I would also do this with a tinted moisturizer if I wasn't looking for that much coverage. But I just feel like being a little more concealed and covered today 
So that's what I'm going with. Okay, so we're like fairly even. I still have like a little bit of rosiness on my cheeks, but other than that, we're pretty much concealed. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my Becca Brightening Under Eye Setting Powder. I find that if I set my under eyes with powder foundation, it creases quite a bit. So to avoid that, I'm just gonna use a loose powder, especially for that area. I do think that this is a step that is like worth it if you find that you crease quite a bit. If you don't, then by all means, like don't worry about it. But if you do, then this will help. So I'm just taking a teeny tiny bit on that sponge because we don't need a lot and pressing that into the skin underneath my eyes there. I don't need this anywhere else on my face. This is literally just for the under eyes. And this does have like a little bit of a reflective property to it as well. So it does help to brighten, but it is not good for flash photography. Because of the mica in it, you will get flashback. So keep that in mind. So for powder foundation, I brought two in because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I have my IT Cosmetics Celebration Illumination Powder Foundation, and I also have my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I'm thinking in terms of color, I'm gonna do my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. My IT Cosmetics, I think, is just like a little bit too pinky to match this fake tan. Now, it does come with a really, really good sponge. Mine is filthy because I'm afraid to clean this and ruin it. <laughs> which is like the worst excuse ever I know, but I'm like genuinely afraid of wrecking this. So I brought my Blendiful in. I'm gonna try to apply it with my Blendiful. If I hate it, I'll go back to the sponge because I haven't tried this before. But let's just see. Oh yeah, this shears it out quite a bit. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not looking for sheer. I think what I'll do, I'm gonna do like a little once over with this and then wherever I need a little more coverage, I'll use the sponge. Cause I don't need like heavy coverage everywhere. I just need it in some areas. But we're just gonna smooth this on all over. We're also gonna be setting the concealer with this too. So that'll lock and load that in place. This is a really, really good option for oily skins. It is quite matte, so if you are more dry, I personally do not recommend this. Something like that IT Cosmetics Powder Foundation, it's more so geared towards dry skin, so you could do that. Um, if you're normal to oily, you can also do MAC Studio Fix. That's another really, really nice one for those more like normal combo to oily skins. You know, MAC has their water weight powder foundation, which is geared towards dry skins. Um, I would say to try it out if you can first, just because it can look a little bit thick, but it does, I believe, have like shea butter in it. So there are a lot of hydrators in it. You just more so want to be careful that it's not going to emphasize any texture on the skin because it can. And I'm trying to think of other powders. Oh, Bare Minerals. You could do Bare Minerals Loose Foundation Powder because that comes in a couple different formulations. There's the original one, which is nice and luminous, and there's the matte one as well for if you're more oily, and that has like an insanely awesome buildable coverage. Um, I just don't have one that matches my tan self right now. I only have one in like my palest shade. So now I'm just taking the sponge and I'm focusing a little more coverage where I feel like I need it. You need to sell this sponge separately because I would buy it. There, I'm also just using it to get like nice and close to my brows. Hmm, do I need more coverage anywhere else? I feel pretty covered. I feel pretty good. I'm just gonna take a quick little zhuzh around the jaw here just in case. Yeah, I feel pretty covered. This is still like a little bit light for me right now, but I was gonna scrub off my self tan today anyway, so like, you know. What does it matter? I have a hair on my eye. Oh, that was tickly. Okay, so we're just gonna keep going on the face. I'm gonna bronze with this guy. I'm just gonna use a nice big floofy brush, dunk into my bronzer, give her a tap, and we're gonna start from the back of the cheek here. Now, we're just getting ready to like go out real quick, so we're not like precisely contouring or any of that nonsense here. 
You can use whatever bronzer you prefer. I'm not going to be super specific. I'm using a discontinued one from MAC that I love so much. Um, it came out with their summer collection last year. I don't know why they didn't make this permanent because their regular bronzer formula is like flaming dog poop and this is fantastic. So I don't know like where they get off doing that, but I digress. I'm going to bronze my giant forehead because it's giant, you know, and we're just working that in like nice and quick just to get some color. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose too, because it's summertime, you get bronzy in the summertime, and then a little bit on my jawline here, just like that. Now while we have it open, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hop into like this nice big fluffy brush here, and we're going to tap out if there's any creases on your lids. Get rid of them. I'm going to go into the bronzer since it's still open. Tap that off and I'm just going to fluff that through my crease just to give a little bit of dimension. You can put this all over the whole eye as well if you do want to do like a really quick like almost like smoked out kind of look. But I'm just going to rock this through my crease like I'm not even looking. We're just, you know, <laughs> it's just going to be something to give you a little bit of shape. I like to connect it a little bit with my nose there as well, just to kind of shape that out. But super simple, like, you know, and that just gives you a little bit of color on your eye. So now that we're done with the bronzer, blush, in my opinion, is optional. I know not everybody shares that opinion, but to me, I can do with or I can do without. I'm just going to hop into my little angled blush brush here. I have my Anastasia Peachy Trio here. I'm going to just, blah, 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 blah. yeah, we're just going to mix them all together. And then I'm going to go right on the top of the cheek here and bring that back. I love this blush trio for summertime. It's just like, it is summer, you know? So tap, tap. Same thing, top of the cheek, up and up. Now some people like to add the blush to their eyes as well. I'm going to say that that's totally optional. I'm going to add a little blush to my nose because I want to. <laughs> I'm going to do it just so you guys can see it, but it's again completely optional. Depends on how much time you have. So I'm going to just go back and forth between these two here because I don't want to add the more shimmery one to my crease. And I'm going to just kind of rock that over top of the bronzer just to warm it up, kind of like how my cheeks are warm. So same thing, swirling into both colors and then adding that on that outer portion of my crease before bringing it in. And like having a big fluffy brush like this is fantastic because it does like all of your work for you. Okay, so to me, highlight is not optional. <laughs> I have to highlight. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use my Fenty Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I also have my Amrezy in here, but it's discontinued and I wanna be nice. So I'm gonna do the softer side first as a highlight because I like to show like both ways you can kind of do it. Cause not everybody wants to be like super duper blinding. I'm just buffing this over the skin. It's got like a nice golden reflection to it. I like to highlight the centers of my face. This is all up to you and how shiny you want to be. I'm sure if you're more on the oily side, you're probably like, good God, no. In which case, you don't gotta do it. I'm also gonna highlight my honkin' forehead because, uh, why not? So that's like a really, really soft glow. And then you can also put this on your eyelids, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop it on my inner corners for a more soft luminosity in there. Just like that. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a smaller brush with the more intense one, just so it doesn't go everywhere. Pick that up here. And because I like to be blinding, I'm going to add that one 
on top. You can also mix these together if you want something in the middle. These are very customizable, hence having the two shades. So it really is up to you. Love me a good schnoz highlight. There we go. So now I'm nice and shiny. You can do this with your finger or a brush. I'm just going to do it with my finger because that's faster. We're just going to put that shimmer on the lid. And then take a clean finger just to blend that a little bit. And there we are. Super, super easy eye look, easy face look. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner. You don't need to do a little bit of eyeliner. I'm just going to, again, do it because we're here. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Teddy Eye Cold just because it's nice and easy to blend out. I'm just going to look down into my mirror and raise my brow and just work that onto the outer half of my eye here. Kind of messy, just like that. And then we're just going to take a little brush. If you don't have a tiny brush, you can also do this with a Q-tip. Fear not. And then just smoke that out a little bit, just to give you a little bit of definition on the outer corner of the eye. So same thing. Doesn't need to be perfect. Right on that outer half. And then take your little brush, your little Q-tip, whatever it is that your heart desires. There we go. And blend it out. Easy peasy. Oh, I almost got this all over my shirt. This is a brand new shirt. Okay. So, we've defined the majority of features. I'm going to do a little bit of mascara. I'm just going to do that off camera because I probably would block out my face anyway. <laughs> and then we'll be back to do the lip and then that's it. Oh, okay. I am back with a little bit of mascara on. Now, I do have like a little bit of lip gloss on, so I need to blot that off. Okay, now I kind of like to block out my lip just a little bit, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> okay, so in terms of like a longer wearing, easier lip that you don't really need to touch up, I like to do a lip liner and a gloss. Now the lip liner I actually fill the lip in with, because lip liners do tend to be more long wearing, and then just pop a gloss over top. It's very, very easy for you to touch up. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner here. It's just like a nudie pink shade. It is a little bit of a warmer pink tone. On a more fair skin, it does come across more peach because of how warm it is. If you want one that's more neutral, Makeup Forever has a lot of their artist pencils that you can use. Or a go-to for me is also just MAC Whirl. Okay, so now that I'm all lined up, I'm just going to fill. So you just got to drag it across really quick. It doesn't need to be perfect because the lip gloss will also even it out. Beauty. Now, of course, you can do literally whatever lip color you want. This eye is neutral enough that you could literally just like throw on like a bold lip, a berry lip, a red lip, like literally whatever it is that is your signature lip that you like to do on a daily basis. I like to do nudes. <laughs> so I'm now going to go in with my Alchemy Beauty Nearly Naked Lip Gloss. This is very new to me. This is actually uh, from a local brand. Um, so I just picked this up earlier today and I really wanted to use it. So let's see. Oh yeah. That's a Taylor color. It smells really good. It smells like MAC lip gloss. So it's got that like vanilla cupcakey kind of smell. There we are. Okay. That's it. That's it. I'm going to do setting spray. If you like to do setting spray, do it. If you don't, don't. Make sure your mascara is dry before you do this, however. Whew. Ooh, okay, and that's the whole look. So going by my viewfinder here, 
This took me like about 22 minutes, I think, to do, and that's with me talking. So it could take you even less time if that's what you needed. But uh, yeah, so basically Katrina's in like an easy 20 minute little summertime everyday makeup look. I did want to keep it more simple and try to kind of multi-purpose where I could just because I know having a lot of makeup can be intimidating as just like the average consumer. And this also makes it really easy for you to just keep a couple things in your bag and kind of keep a few things with you and just go. Like if I were to be heading out, all I would be bringing is my lip liner, my lip gloss, and my foundation powder because it already comes with a sponge inside. So that's really, really all I would need to bring. Sometimes in the summer, I like to keep little like mini setting sprays in my purse just in case I feel hot. Not for any actual makeup benefit, but literally just for if I feel hot. <laughs> so you guys can do something like that as well. But that is absolutely everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Do like, if you like this look, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Tell me what your 20 minute makeup routine is. Tell me if you try this out. I'm gonna link my Instagram down below as well because I can have a full product list there as well as in the description bar. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see more of my videos. Bye guys.